What are you doing? Uh, your hand is wet. Sorry, must be nervous. I got some bad news. What? The damage to your husband's lungs is permanent. The kidney damage is reversible, and with the right therapy, he should regain full neurological function. Other than the fact that he's not going to be running any marathons, he should be fine. But that's good news, isn't it? I'm not finished. When I was a kid, my dad was stationed at a marine base in Egypt. We were in the middle of nowhere, and there was absolutely nothing for a kid to do except look for a mummy's tomb. You didn't want me to go to the bathroom because you wanted to tell me my husband is going to be fine and that you used to live in Egypt? I didn't have a problem with you going to the bathroom. I just didn't want you to wash your hands. I never actually found a mummy, but I did learn a fair amount about the ancient Egyptians. For example, they discovered that stannous chloride is not only great for toughening ruby glass, but if it's mixed with gold, it turns bright purple. Now, either your fingers actually are worth their weight in gold, or you've been sprinkling your husband's cereal with gold sodium thiamylate. It's an arthritis remedy that's rarely used here in the U.S., but it's still popular in Mexico. I gotta give you props. Never heard of anyone using gold before. It's almost poetic. It's ridiculous. Every metal top scraper gold was off the chart. Why would I? You were trying to kill him. I'd love to know the why behind that why. But you're not gonna tell me, are you? You're wrong. I... I love Bob. I never said you didn't love him. <laughs>